All right, all right, all right, YouTubers, what is going on? I'm going to try to make this a fast video because people get bored very quickly, especially with me because I, I go off the beaten path when I talk and I just start going into other stuff and ranting and whatnot. So, um, for probably about three or four months before my brother passed away, so I would say somewhere around January-ish, I was actually contemplating the what if, like, what if I get back into um, the three and three quarter GI Joes? Because I have been buying um, the Walmart newer three and three quarter guys, and then I have purchased some of the six inch. I didn't like the six inch at first, but it grew, they grew on me. They're a little different, and they did grow on me, so I like them now. And since then, I was like, you know what? And I, I must have had about 42 complete GI Joe collections. From 82, sometimes from, I mean, different, a lot of years missing, but normally from 82 to, to 94. The last huge collection I had, including vehicles complete, was in 2009. When I transitioned and when I first got introduced to um, YouTube or YouTubers know me as Mr. T, because at first, the first four or five months, everybody was like, yo, yo your collection is awesome. Because I had every hot toy that other people didn't have, couldn't get, they were too expensive, and I had more hot toys than almost anybody out there on YouTube at the time. And that's how I got, in, I would say, more infamous than famous, right? Um, and I got into that uh, when I first got into my G.I. Joe stuff. Um, I, um, I, I started collecting the 13-inch DC Direct figures. I had every one of them. I thought that I, to this day, I still like that line. Um, the, um, the figures are 13 inches. They are goofy bodies compared to hot toys and whatnot. Um, but the head sculpts and the outfits, I thought, were nice. Um, they're not worth anything. So I got I got into those and then like the first hot toy I got was um, I think the Christian Bell original Batman Begins figure and the Tumblr. And at that time they were cheap. I mean they were expensive but cheap compared to what they what shit is now. And then I think uh, I got some other stuff. Um, I got a couple of aliens, a couple of the original Predators because at that time they were going for 180, which is still expensive, but you know considering that they came out at 60 or 70 bucks. So I got into that, and um, I never looked back. I have gotten um, a nice amount of GI Joes over over the years, over the course of the years, and I've always got rid of them to support that habit. But every time I did it, I always had cell remorse. I always had cell remorse right after, and I'm talking about cell remorse for at least a week, week and a half, because GI Joe, just like everybody else, it's extremely dear. It is a nostalgic toy line. A lot of people have a lot of nostalgic toy lines that they love growing up. G.I. Joe, I mean, I was already a grown man then, but, you know, G.I. Joe, I always loved articulate figures, and I loved the G whole G.I. Joe thing. I mean, G.I., I mean, anyway, it doesn't matter. And my boy Dave, make a long story short, we, you know, we kind of grew up together, we knew each other for over 30 years, and um, he he regret get, um, listening to his mom and throwing his stuff away, make a long story short. Um, Sunday before last, uh, I saw Bobby at, at Columbus, he sells there, real cool guy. And um, he had a lot of G.I. Joe, uh, a lot of them were complete, some were complete, and the others weren't, but they were in great condition otherwise. And I asked him, I said, well, how much would you want for the whole thing? Just, you know, speaking hypothetically, he said, oh, you're probably looking at close to $1,000. I was like, oh, okay. I had the money, but I, I would have had like two or 300 to stretch for the whole week thrifting. And I, I, I could have survived, but, you know, sometimes you never know. When, you know, you can find all types of great stuff thrifting. So I was like, eh, I was like, eh. And that, that 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 Tuesday, two days later, my boy David called me, and um, we were talking for a while, and he showed me the GI Joe book, and I was like, "Listen, I'm actually in a thrift shop right now, looking for toy." And so it was, cr it's crazy, because we actually met through another friend who introduced us to each other, because uh, he he knew he had GI Joes, he had more than him, and his stuff was better made. But Dave didn't sell or trade under his GI Joes. He would never had a problem with you holding it, like borrowing it, but he would never trade or sell them. But that's how we actually met over 30 years ago. Like, like I said, it's ironic. You know, it's crazy. And, you know, every you know, we speak. sometimes we speak to each other on the holidays and stuff. But um, he did call me, and uh, we ain't speaking, like, over six, seven months. But everything, you know, when we, when we do talk, everything is, like, on the same path. Like It's like we never skipped a beat. So, make a long story short, because my story, my story is always long, let's face it. Um... So, and I was like, okay, I'll help you, and last Sunday, you know, I got there late, I got there after 9 something, because he gets out, he works for Amtrak, he gets out of work um, around 7, so the train gets him to my stop, or the closest train stop to me at 
So we had to do some prepping and whatnot, and then from there we drove down into our drive. So we got there just after nine. I still I still got some decent stuff, um, but I don't like going late because you never know what you can miss out because you know you miss all the great stuff early early in the morning. So, but last week was all, last Sunday was all about him anyway, like you know helping him, and I was I wanted to get back into GI Joe's anyway, so I was transition I'm transitioning back into it, and I was like you know what now he can help me force myself to get, you know, to concentrate more on that anyway, so anyway, to make a long story short, I got some good stuff today, um, yeah, yesterday was Friday, duh, so Friday, yesterday, um, I did a garage sale at my house, and my garage sale was basically to have extra money for this week coming up, thrifting, and then I knew I was going to take a lot of my stuff, because like I said before, my plan was, like, my, the other part of my man cave, or the other part of the attic, basically, is where I have all my toys set up. And little by little, I'm transitioning from a lot of that stuff to getting that to support my other stuff that I want to get into, which is G.I. Joe and stuff like that. So, um, so yeah. So, um, today was the day where I, I knew I was going to go to my, my, my boy Dave. Not, not, not the Dave I'm talking about, like my black Dave that I grew up with, but older white Dave who had um, antique collectible malls in, I think, Rochelle Park or something, Jersey, and now he's in Livingston Mall. Bigger, you know, more traffic, bigger, better store, beautiful. Um, and, um, yeah, and around my brother's passing, I did get some, some hot toy stuff from him, from, well, from, yeah, from them, uh, and I've seen a whole crap little G.I. Joe. Since then, he sold a lot. Because today was the first day I went over there and saw the stuff. And uh, I did get some stuff. I got about 10 vehicles and some G.I. Joes. I spent close to, I spent a little over 700 on everything. My boy Dave, last week, he brought stuff from Bobby. And all the G, he brought all the, all the G.I. Joes Bobby had that were complete. No file cards and all like that, but, you know, figures with their weapons and stuff. And Bobby gave him a good deal, and I brought a couple of items off for him as well. He told, I told him to hold some figures for me uh, for this week because I don't want to spend a lot or spend as more than I did. Um, so he, you know, he's holding them for me, and I'm gonna pick them up tomorrow, and stuff like that. And um, so yeah, so the money today was basically to, you know, pay him. Well, you know, to help pay for my motorcycle to get fixed because I already put 1,400 in the uh, bike mechanic's um, hand. So he's still waiting for my uh, my fork seals to come in. Um, that's only my, my my new shifter came in, other stuff. So that's all he's waiting for. Uh, my seals to come in. So hopefully, maybe in the middle of the week, I'll have my motorcycle. So that's a done deal, and um, so it was all about you know getting some G, you know getting some GI Joe vehicles and stuff from Dave, from White Dave or Old Man Dave, and um, you know being able to have some extra you know extra money to give Bobby for the stuff he's holding for me, along with some other stuff that he's got for um, that I'm gonna look at tomorrow as well. So I'm gonna be bringing him some stuff to trade as well because you know he looks for certain things so. Maybe he'll take my turtle stuff and we could work something out. And then I have another vehicle that I'm embarrassed about because I thought it was G.I. Joe. It didn't look, it looked very familiar and it's a Cobra thing. So I was like, oh, okay, that's G.I. Joe, but it's not. I didn't notice until I got home and I was prepping for this video. So anyway, I, I will tell you, I, nah, I'm not, I think it's called Storias. It's kind of like Warriors, but Starias or something like that. And it's a bit, I think, whatever. And it's like a snake playset. Um, so I'm going to talk to Dave about that and say, listen, you know, I just need to bring that back and get something else because you had it as G.I. Joe. And I thought it was G.I. Joe too, but it's not. But I'll do that tomorrow after, if Bobby doesn't take it, I'll do that. Um, so yeah, outside of that, I did get some stuff today. Um, this old Caucasian couple, um, who sells at the market too, very nice people. I could tell I was the only person that, um, I, I could tell they just put it out because if they if they didn't, all that would have been going already. Um, the guy wanted seventy five dollars for everything because he had everything priced on for eBay prices. But a lot of people make those mistakes when they say, "Oh, well, eBay's going for this and that," but at the same time, they don't know about what it's sold for. They just go by what people are asking and the way he had his stuff priced. I'm not gonna show you everything. I'll just like for instance show you this for instance. Here you have the Sega thirty two X. Star Wars Arcade. This game around, around um, the pandemic. This was a this was a seventy to ninety dollar game. Now this game is like thirty bucks. And you know this time of the year, video gaming is always bad. Like from the spring to like all summer, 
going back into until you get to like the fall, mid fall, that's when video games is on the rise. And now, especially since COVID, like everybody's going back to normal and going out and you know, theme parks and stuff are open and stuff like that now and everybody's going crazy at movie theaters and whatnot is even more intensified on people not dealing with the gaming like that. So anyway, as you see here, he has one price at one ninety nine sealed and one for sixty five. But I guess that's what people, obviously is what people are asking because the damn showing what they sold for. So here you have the 32X Star Wars Arcade. I do want this game and I, I have a 32X but I have no games for it. So I do have two now. And 32X games, especially in box, not sealed but in box, are very rare to come by. Regardless. So this game is a keeper. Um, so I, I priced everything up and everything sold on eBay for, I think I'm at a sixty something dollar profit. Um, this is going for thirty bucks. Um, sold on eBay. I paid seventy five for all of them. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven games. Um, so basically it's almost like ten dollars a game or maybe eleven dollars a fifty cent a game or whatever, but I was a little intimidated because the prices he had and the stuff and I was like, okay, this guy no you know, he kinda he's kinda on point. So I thought he was gonna be, it was gonna be crazy, but it wasn't. So this was thirty bucks sold on eBay. Then you have a 32X Virtual Racing. I, I got it because, hey, it is a 32X game. It looks like garbage, but it's a 32X game. Um, same thing as you see here. He has a price on it, and it says Virtual Racing sealed 65, no, $64, used 49 But again, that's sealed, and that's just the asking price. So I guess they don't really know what the hell they're doing. They're old white people. Who knows? Doesn't mean they don't know stuff, but who knows if they did it themselves. They must have did it themselves, or who knows? Um... I, I don't remember what this one sold for on eBay. I think it's like 15 bucks or 12 or something like that. Then this one is like a 30 35 game. This is um the only Sega Genesis game. And it says Dungeons and Dragons use 89. And then the other one says 59. I don't know why. They probably put it in the wrong section. But again, as you see, you can pause that. I don't know what was the point of that. But I think this game is like 30 or $35. Um... Then here, um, obviously, they're all over the place. You got Super Mario World for the Super Nintendo. Um, he got 96 and then 15. So I guess use 15 and on all, up to 96. I don't know, but again, um, and it does have the manual in the game. No box, unfortunately, but still in all, pretty cool. Then here you have uh, just Street Fighter, not Street Fighter Turbo or Super Street Fighter. He got 15 and 99 on it. So I guess that's used and new. I don't know or why they did that, but whatever um, this one is like basically a 15 to 25 dollar game on eBay so and then here we have um Drakan or Drakin or whatever something like that he got 25 and nine dollars on it um, I think this game is like 15 bucks or 10 or 10 to 15 but like I said all these games would have been gone somebody would have brought all these. And I was just—I just happened to be walking to the restroom or walking back from. I was—I was walking somewhere, or I was probably hunting early in the morning. I saw it, and everybody else just missed it. Then the last one, you got Super Scope Six. I think that's gonna be eight dollars and seventy-five cent to twenty-six dollars. That sounds more rational, but it's like a five to eight dollar game. I do have a Super Scope Six up there in the box. I'm pretty confident that the game is in there, but I don't know if it has a manual or whatever. But regardless, now it does. And again, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven games. So he charged me 75 for everything. I didn't even question it. I didn't argue. And he threw this one in for extra. This is just an empty case. Um, well, I asked him to. He had two other Super Nintendo games. He had a game called Romance for the Super Nintendo. I didn't take that. And it's funny because that was probably good. I should look that game up right now, right? Romance 2, I believe. Well, my damn luck is probably an expensive game. Just because I didn't take it. Then he had a sport game. Super NES. Let's look up Romance. That would be Romance 2. I know it's 2. Romance 2. Let me just. <sighs> yep, that's. Yeah, 20 bucks. He probably threw that in for extra five if I asked him to, but I wasn't really thinking, but I knew I was going to keep it, and I'm really not in the mood to be selling video games. I had some stuff I sold to some guys who bought my Lego, 
And since this guy named Rob is no longer around and or whatever, um, I, I'm not dealing with him anymore anyway. So I'm not really trying to buy games unless it's Mario-related stuff. And I know I can move it quickly. Other than that, it's not worth it for me. And right now, the summer is not the best time to buy video games because they're, they're not worth anything. Like I said, not only because of the pandemic. Well, definitely because of the pandemic because nobody, nobody was able to do nothing for a year. And the pandemic was still going on. These things would be quadrupled the price. But, you know, every, anybody who knows video games know that video game stuff, spring and summer, they're dead. Nobody really wants them. They're not worth that much because everybody's out. And, again, pandemic being everything opening back up after that year experience of people gaining weight and not being able to do nothing or go nowhere, people are going crazy now. So, And I think that's why the last three weeks the flea market hasn't had as many people walking through like normal. So, anyway... You know, I pay seventy-five bucks for all these games, and I think with the prices that they sold, what they sold for on eBay, I'm probably around forty to fifty bucks above what I paid, which is good. Even though I'm still keeping it in the collection, so it really doesn't matter. So let me just put these over here, and hopefully they don't fall. Okay. Now moving on from that, a guy known named Pete. Coach Pete, they call him. He has a store. Um, I sold a lot of stuff to him, and that's how I brought the GI Joe stuff from Dave. So my plan, and they both have a have a spot in the uh, in the Livingston Mall. They both know each other as well. So my plan was to sell him a lot of stuff that he brought, and technically, the stuff that I sold him is great for his store. But if I took that stuff into Dave and or if I was looking at G.I. Joe trade, I would have been losing out. And nobody, people would be like, hell no, because it was like a lot of different miscellaneous stuff, stuff that anybody could use for a store. It was some decent stuff, but it definitely wasn't worth the G.I. Joe. But because I worked at a good price with him, that was how, I, how it worked itself out. And then some other stuff he brought, um, we did it credit. I said, well, you know what? Let's do credit on a couple of items too. So we did that, and I wound up getting um, some G.I. Joe stuff from his store. Unfortunately, he doesn't deal with, like, the vintage G.I. Joe stuff. So let me show you guys what I got from him. And I still have a $95 credit. Um, he, didn't, he didn't have anything in the store that I wanted. So, for the other $95 credit. So, these, this is what I got. I don't have these, or at least I pray I don't. If I do, I'll just sell one or trade one to somebody, whatever. I know I don't have um, Stalker. He put the, he put a fair price on these. Duke and Stalker. I may actually have Duke, now thinking about it. Um, so Duke and Stalker. It's definitely a huge G.I. Joe day for me, because you guys going to see the other stuff. And then these. I know I, I hope I don't have this um, Duke as well. Um, but he had 35 on him. We were at 105. He gave me all this stuff for 105 bucks, considering that he has them priced for his store price. I hope I don't have this Destro. I don't remember number three, so hopefully I don't have him. I know I had the pimped out one from the from the GameStop exclusive, and that is funny because at first when that one came out, I didn't like it, and that's why I didn't like this particular line. But when I saw this, I always thought the Snake Eyes was the best one, and I think I missed out on that one. And then I start liking the line. And for some reason, I was like, you know, let me get the pimped out Destro. I got it, and I, li I start liking it. Um, but, you know, this is the original. Can't get, you know, you can never be the classic. And if I have extra ones of these, so what? You know, I can always sell them later. I do have Flint now. I just got to pick up Lady J. I like, you know what, since I have credit, I'll just, I'll just like the hell with it. You know what I mean? So I use the credit to get these. So I got those five. I got these three, six inch, and then the four inch, or a little over four inch. Or as somebody I know on YouTube, not know, but watch his videos, he say, what did he say? Uh, well, I'm not, I'm not going to repeat what he said, because it didn't it'll, it'll sound like I'm teasing him, and somebody might go back and say some stupid stuff, and then there'll be like a whole issue, because I'm not, you know what I mean, I'm not known with them guys, and you know, some people take it the hard, take it a hard way, or they'll think, oh, he's dissing you, or making fun of you, and if they don't like it, it's all types of things. So anyway, 105 for the five of these. He got 20 a piece on these, um, two for 35, and then one for 30. So 30, 35, and 30, that's 100, because 30, I mean, 35, 35 is 70, and then 30 on top of 70 is 100. And then 20 and 20 is 140. So he knocked off 
35 bucks for me for these and I got them for 105 bucks because 105 and 200 in credit is basically 95 bucks so he owes me 95 dollars in store credit he didn't have anything else there that I wanted and I don't like force myself to get stuff just just to finish up you know he'll always have something and you know we know each other so then this guy's here. I wound up getting um, also in Livingston Mall. I got him from I got him from GameStop. Um, thanks to Sprooch. Um because I was, I did want this and I did see people that had this and I was like, eh, I'm not gonna go crazy trying to find it and there's a great chance I may not find it anyway. Uh, which is Gigawatt, which is basically like Back to the Future slash Transformers. So they basically did uh like the Back to the Future um, DeLorean kind of like. Like a you know the Lord they did the Ghostbuster or the Ecto one, and now they did this. I hope they do a Knight Rider. That would be great. A Knight Rider and the A Team if they already didn't do one. Um, yeah, that's my ideas, y'all. So you got Gigawatt, and he did say that he got his in GameStop. It was thirty bucks. Cause I think at one time this was retailing for, I think fifty or seventy dollars or something. So I got that, and then this I got because it's cool and. It was a couple of dollars cheaper than, I think they had it, I think it was originally uh, $29.99. And I wound up getting it for like, I think, 6 or $7 cheaper. I'm not too sure. I thought it was a, I thought it was a, it says Funko. I thought it was a puzzle at first, but it's a, it is a lunchbox, obviously, but I don't know what's in the lunchbox. So I got to do some research on this and see what's in the lunchbox. Because I guess if it was a puzzle, it would, whatever, but it's a GameStop exclusive. It says Transformers on one side and G.I. Joe on the other. So that was like a, a no-brainer for me. I was like, you know what? It's a lunchbox and it's basically both. So I was like, you know what the hell with it? I like, I I'm collecting both. So why not grab it? So that's why I grabbed that. So both of those cost me like 52 bucks, 50, $51 and change. All right, now moving on to the stuff that you guys have been waiting for. So I'm going to tell you right now the G.I. Joe vehicles. Um, I looked them up on eBay when I got home. Um, Dave got a work and I've been with him for two years. Real cool kid. I think his name, I already forgot his name already. Trevor. Trevor. Because all I got to do is remember Travis because I know a Travis and take out the vat, this and put er. So Trevor. His name is Trevor. Real nice kid too, man. Really, 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 really nice. So I got the Tomahawk with lift ticket. Um, one recently sold for $135 on eBay. And think they had it for 150 and he gave it to me for 115 so let me show you guys that his lift ticket I am gonna change his uh what you call it and then I'm gonna check him off in my book uh, he's he doesn't have that that piece so we got lift ticket here and he did come with um, the tomahawk tomahawk is very good condition and everybody know these tomahawks are expensive unfortunately the tomahawk is just is missing that little slide piece for the the tow cable, and it doesn't have the gun the gun gauntlet right here. But those are I looked them up on eBay, and they are very easy to find and kind of cheap. So I'm not sweating it or upset because I will you know I, I, I'm gonna make a list of what parts I need for what, so it'll be a lot easier to uh, to to find and not go crazy for. I do want to you know clean these off, so I probably you know maybe one of these days this week I'll stay home. Uh, maybe this Wednesday. I'll, um, I don't know yet. I'll figure it out. But, you know, Tomahawk is in very good condition, as you can see. This happened over time with the uh, the blades bending. You know, that just, unfortunately, it happened. But I'm not, I don't care. It's complete. And it's, it is in great. It is in nice condition other than the blades. If I could buy blades or get some replacements, so be it. If not, who cares? So, you know, Tomahawk does have a lift ticket. You get it for, they had it for 150 I got it for 115 So let me put this down here. Uh, I'm going to fall off the chair on my channel. And you guys see me in my damn underwear. So that would be... I ain't, well, ain't going to say embarrassing. Who gives a flying crap, right? Um, and then we got the Triple T tank. He made me pay for the Triple T tank. And speaking of that, hold on. Actually, I'll show you the blueprints I got for what vehicles and stuff. Because I paid a lot of money for this stuff, but it was worth it. So the Triple T tank, it does have the um, the steering stick, 
which is very, very hard and rare because a lot of them, these are almost like get, finding us a pentor and so pentor has one or all of his teeth broken. Because what a lot of kids did back in the day was it was hard to see Serpentor's face, and being that they put the teeth so big, it's hard to see his face. So a lot of people used to snap off the teeth. But the Triple T tank does have the engine cover, has everything. Good condition, both missiles, and it has the blueprint. Um, so they had a price at 55 which is like $15 over eBay, but what are you going to do? Um, he sold it to me for 40 I wasn't going to argue with it because, it's hard. again, it's hard to find a Triple T tank complete, and it has the control stick. So that, that is, that is kind of rare. It doesn't have Sergeant Slaughter, but I'm, I think I have Sergeant Slaughter. If I don't, I, I can get him. Alrighty then, what is next? Cobra Mamba. The Cobra Mamba sold, one sold complete on eBay without the, without the uh, pilot. For 60 they sold to me for 50 he took $10 off. And, you know, they're a store. So, you know, a lot of stores either want this price or sometimes they're like, listen, I won't charge you tax. Because G.I. Joe is hot. G.I. Joe has always been hot. And vintage G.I. Joe always holds a value. I think, I think G.I. Joe is one of the oldest vintage toy line for boys that hold a value from the 80s. Because um, you get a lot of, like, um, the vintage Star Wars, I mean, I mean, Hasbro and Kenner made so many Star Wars over the years that, do you know how many Baspin Lukes and Jedi Lukes out, I mean, that are out there? It's ridiculous. Probably over 50 of them. So that's why, you know, they don't hold a value. And a lot of the older stuff don't hold a value because of that as well. Um, some people may say, are you crazy? No. From, what, from my experience, I'm not crazy. And, you know, from my experience, they really, they, they, they don't, I mean, they don't hold a value. Like, I mean, G.I. Joe... It's probably one of the, the boy toys from the 80s that have a better high, uh, a better value than a lot of other stuff. Why is this now acting funny? Now it doesn't want to close. That is weird. Oh, okay, maybe that's the reason why. Maybe I have it backwards. Oh, stupid me. So here you have, the, I don't think I have a pilot. I think it's a gyro, the gyro guy. Um, one of these missiles is kind of difficult to stay on. Um, but this is missing... The two drop bombs, bombs, bombs. Yeah, this thing is a little difficult. So, whatever. So it's missing both of the drop bombs, um, and I just realized it's missing one of the other little missiles that go on the side right here, where I'm pointing at. But other than that, it's it's, it's in better condition and a better vehicle than the one that the I mean the other one that they had because they had two of them. So I picked a better one, and I was allowed to switch the missiles, and so or take the the missiles for this. So I'm happy with that. So I do have to um, go in and you know buy a couple of you know pieces for this to complete it. But it'll be it should be cheap. And again, the Cobra Mamba selling on eBay for so the last one well one one sold for um, sixty dollars in this just like this. So he took ten dollars off on it. Um, the new kid, I can't say new kid because you know. I didn't even know they've been there for the two years or whatever, but uh, I'm gonna put that right here. Okay, and okay, I'm glad this is the next vehicle because I don't want to step on this. And then this guy is the Sky, um, was it the Sky Striker? I was never really fond of this. I always thought this was kind of like cheesy and crappy. It looked like a bootleg, baby down ugly version of like it, it, it was like it was like if the uh, the sky striker and the conquest x30 had a baby and the baby came out deformed and half retarded that's what this remind me of but it's cool it's complete and they have the pilot in there and this he actually um damn i paid a lot for this Oh, no, 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 no. I got it mixed up. I'm sorry. I got It's a Sky Storm. That's what I meant to say. Um, the Sky Storm, they had it marked. Is, it was for 50 And he gave it to me for 40 because I don't remember if it has the blueprint. You guys will see in a second, but it does have the pilot. Um, he had the wrong missiles on here. So, But the missiles should be very cheap for these anyway, for this anyway, because this is not really that desirable or whatever. Um, so he only knocked $10 off it because the pilot was in there. Um, 
he had red, he had some other Cobra Mamba missiles on here, so they, they didn't, he didn't know. I didn't even realize it until I got home. So can't 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 memorize everything, man. And it's been a long time since I've been out since I've been out this stuff, man. A long time. All right. So yeah, the Sky Strike is going to be next. It is missing Ace, and it is missing the parachute, and a couple of missiles. I need another missile to replace this one because it's broken. This person definitely, this stuff was well played with. Um, I mean, a lot of it was was taken care of, but he, they have some stuff that are missing things, and you can tell it, it came from the same collector. Um, but this is the better, this is the better, I think they had three of them. One was gutted, like missing a lot of stuff, and they had them all for the same price. So the kid basically just let me take uh, the, the two seats out of one of them, and I put them both in here, and I have this. Unfortunately, it doesn't have his name on the side like one of them did, but the other one was kind of jacked up outside of that. So I was like, you know what the hell with it, so I took this one. Um, the Sky Striker is one of those vehicles you got to have, man. You just got to have a Sky Striker. You know, these things are badass. Um, when you think, of, I mean, it's one of the best real-life type of, um, it's almost like a Tomcat 16 on the Sky Striker. Um, it is one of the better, or the best, G.I. Joe military aircraft G.I. Joe's made. Because everything else they make look crazy. And that's why this is so popular and so well sought after because of that. And, you know, these, this is an older vehicle, so it is it is hard. I remember back when I was collecting, when I started getting back into collecting, because from 2008 to, two, for like two years, I've been collecting G.I. Joe, and I got all of them. But, you know, that was back when the internet was just popping, and shit was, shit was expensive, and I got a lot of stuff from a lot of different places. But I paid, I paid up for some of that stuff. A lot of the figures and a lot of vehicles, I paid up for it. Um, this time around, uh, because I have the knowledge and I know the people and stuff, it, it, it'll, it'll definitely be a lot easier for me to get the stuff now. And even with this stuff, I think I paid a lot less now than I did then. So that's good. So the next one will be the Thunder Machine. The Thunder Machine, one sold for 85 complete. And this one does come with, um, his name is, I think, Thrasher, right? Or what the freak his name is. Where the hell is it at? Okay. Oh, just like a sneaky damn um, dreadnought. So it is complete. I did drop it. I did drop it. And when I dropped it, the wheel popped off. Well, the rear right wheel. I know some people are like you stupid effer. Right here. Well, right here. I mean, wait. Oh, this one. That's right. Duh. Dude, my camera. The way my camera set up, everything is opposite. So it's kind of hard. Oh, uh, I didn't even know this he has a stand wheel now. He doesn't. Damn it. So I gotta get the stand wheel for this. I should have took the other one. I wasn't I wasn't thinking today because I was so upset because I got I almost got into a fist fight with this disrespectful guy over his disgusting ass whore of a wife. If you guys knew what happened, you guys would understand why I, why why I'm saying what I said. And I called it that. And everything. I mean, I'm not gonna go into I'm not gonna mess with this video, whatever. But I did that. I dropped it. Um, I was picking it up, and it fell right here on the side of my table and fell, and it popped off, and I can't find a little purple piece. So, whatever. 45 for the um, Thunder Machine with Thrasher. If that's his name. I, I, I can't, you know, like I said, it's, gonna be, it's, gonna be, it's not going to be that hard for me to get back into remember their names and remember who is who. You guys, I mean, it's, been a, it's been a couple of years. And for anybody who's been, even if you have stuff in your basement and you have all your collection... Now, you're not going to remember every name and every vehicle. You're going to be like, oh, yeah, that's what this is called. Because some people are like, oh, yeah, you should know. Some people just like this. Now, this is the holy, this is one of the, well, not the holy grail, but one of the, one of the, one of the grails of aircraft. They did have the Technodrome, no, Terradrome. They did have the, is it the Technodrome? Yeah, no, the Technodrome is the Turtles, Terradrome. They had the Terradrome, and they had the uh, Defiant. So I may be trying to work out a price thing. Uh, with Dave on those, and I'll probably have him hold them and then work out a price thing because the prices are high on them, but I do want them both. Um, so, 
I'll probably work out. I'll probably talk to him tomorrow or Monday about that, and we could work out something. But this piece is sick. It is the Phantom X19 with the Pilot. Sold for 150. I think the price on that dropped a lot because I remember when that thing used to go for like 250 used. So 150, and I got it for 100. That was the cheapest it was going. Wait a minute. Did I say Pilot? Oh yeah, the Pilot right here in my hand. Duh. So this is the Pilot, and this is the beautiful jet. And I did have this, but the one I had was kind of messed up, but it was so hard to find this. Like I said, the internet was just kind of getting there. Well, the eBay was just kind of getting there like in 2007, 8-ish. So this was something that was very hard to find. And so for people that did have them, they were selling this just a shelf for like 150 200 And the pilot was almost missing the action all the time. And when I saw this, I had... When I, this and this, the... The, um, the Sky Striker and the uh, the Tomahawk, I was not leaving without those. I had to have them, but he worked at a price with me, and I was happy with it. So, Ghost Rider, that's that's the guy, that's the pilot's name. So, I'm gonna put him here. So, I know I gotta replace the old rings and stuff. And I do I do want to go to eBay and look up those little acrylic stands they got for these, so I can have them in flight because I think that would be badass. This is missing parts obviously so I gotta look and see what parts are missing for this so I can complete this beautiful beast um, it is beautiful though this is an another nice G.I. Joe vehicle but I don't remember any military style aircraft being mo or this being modeled after that but it is unique and nice and and, and rare it, it, is kind, it is kind of a rare jet you don't come across those too often alright what's the, and uh, yeah like I said I paid uh yeah, I paid a hundred for that. He, he knocked off fifty bucks. He didn't even knock off ten or fifteen. Hey, they're a store, you know. So you know, in a hobby shop and shit, you can't. Sometimes people want more, and some people want to match eBay because they're a shop and they can do it. So here we got the Cobra Maggot. The Maggot, fifty-seven dollars on eBay, and I paid thirty-five for it. He didn't take any, that's the price they had on it. They had 35 on it, and he didn't take, he didn't take anything off of it. He was like, nah, this one, you know, we only asking 35 for it. And, um, I got to stick to that price. I can't do everything. And I, I understood. I was like, all right, no problem. I do got to replace this one cannon because the two tabs broke. Like I said, this guy loved his toys, man. Whoever, whoever they bought the stuff from. And Dave and them are not like me. They're not experts at knowing you're probably like, yeah, you're an expert, but you can't remember these names. I consider myself an expert at G.I. Joe stuff because... Is this missing? It's missing the rollers right here for these two. So I gotta I got get the rollers, and I gotta get this torrent piece. Because this piece snapped off. That's just the way it was. I mean, you know, this guy played with his stuff, man. So, you know, it is what it is. But it is the Cobra Maggot. Um... Doesn't have the driver, but pretty decent for 35 bucks. And I think this does have the blueprint, which put it up there because everything I looked at on eBay don't have the everything. I, all of it was I'm pricing don't have the blueprints to them at that price. I don't I didn't see a lot of them with the blueprint with the blueprint at all. So I just went by what they go for loose. And being that they had the blueprint, the kid didn't have to tell me that because I already knew that. And then the next one is the Warthog. Uh, the Warthog I don't have salt and soda. But the Warthog by itself, with Sergeant, he's like over 100. But by itself, eBay sold for 75, and he wanted 50. He wasn't going lower than 50. And he also has a blueprint for that. I wasn't going to argue. Um, I think there's an antenna missing for this, and it's missing one of the missiles. But I can get the missile. What the hell just happened? How the hell did it. How the hell did his wheel just come off? Oh, man. I did drop this, too. Some of you guys are going to bite you. You're an asshole, man. You're going to be pissed off. I did drop this. Oh, no, 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 no. That's why he... Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is missing uh, the, the two wheels right here. Um, the two wheels that make it roll. So I got to I gotta try to find those as well. I know they didn't have another wolf hog because they did, I already got it. But I was like, you know what? Whatever. I got such a great deal on this other stuff. I wasn't going to argue over semantics. I mean, I'll look for, I, I like looking for parts for stuff to complete them anyway. And... I may I may come across the parts, I may not, whatever. It does have a blueprint, which is rare. So yeah. And again the Warthog the Warthog was fifty. 
and his selling for seventy. So he took twenty five off. He said he wasn't doing better than that, regardless, because they could still sell it. They say, yo, we sell a lot of GI Joe stuff, and they're not lying, because I've seen a lot of they had shell, they had showcases of that stuff, um, and that was like, like not even two months ago. And it, it's funny because if he was still in, in his other store, he would have still had a lot of this stuff. But being that they're in the mall and they get to generate a lot more traffic, they, it, it's just really good for them. I just showed you guys the Sky Storm earlier because I got that mixed up with the Sky Striker. And then now, last but not least, uh, the Havoc. The Havoc with Chorus Country sold for seventy. Um, he gave it to me for forty-five. And the Havoc is complete with no issues. Has every team. So we got the GI Joe Havoc, which is one of David's favorite vehicles. And this is how we met. And this is one of the vehicles that he had. I, I wanted to have, and he was not parting with it at all. Nope, 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 and nope. And he loved his vehicle, and I loved it too. And by, you know, I mean, it is what it is, man. So, yeah. So, we got all this crap here. Uh, some of you guys are like, man, you know, sometimes, you know, when you got the money, and you get stuff, and it's a good deal, you got to do it. You, gotta, you, gotta, you just got to go for it, man. You know, because, you know, the chances of you finding it cheap again, especially being at the a store, they want, you know, they want to move stuff for more inventory and stuff, and... If I, if I go to anybody that's selling this stuff, I'm going to be paying top dollar for this stuff. Or another shop that I'm going to be paying top. So for all 10 of these vehicles, I paid 590 bucks, $590. Again, the Tomahawk sells on e sold on eBay the last one for 135 I paid 115 Triple T Tank, even. Because that was four, one sold on, e on eBay for 40 and he wouldn't do best, better than 40 because it came with the blueprint. And he said if it came with Sardis Slaughter, you know it would be like almost 100 or over 100. And he, he's right. Um, Cobra Mamba, 60. It took 10 hours off. I paid 50. The um, Sky Striker, 130. And I paid 75. And I think they had it priced at a, a buck 20. But he did, he did me good on that. The Thunder Machine with um, Thrasher sold on eight for 85. He took 40 off. I paid 45 for it. Phantom X-19 with the Pilot. 150, which I think is still cheap compared to the one the person had on eBay, and he I only he was only charged a hundred dollars for it. Um, the Cobra Maggot, 57 bucks. Um, he, um, he went they wouldn't do better than 35 regardless. He was like, listen, that's why I'm I'll give you a great deal on all, on everything. He's right. Then the Warthog, 75. He took 25 off. I paid 50. Has a couple of issues, needs some stuff, but still in all, it's hard to find that vehicle, and that comes with a Sergeant Slaughter as well. And it has a blueprint. When it comes, you know, you gotta remember when it comes, you know, it's worth getting some of the uh, pieces for it, especially when, when the vehicle comes with a blueprint, because the blueprints are so hard to come by. Uh, I, I just said the Copa Maga. Uh, all right, so the Sky Storm came with the pilot. He took ten hours off, making it forty, because there's nothing wrong with it. And the Havoc with Cross Country, he hooked me up, um, forty-five, and it's selling for seventy. So I price all that up, and all that comes up to everything I brought. Not what they, and I would, not what, not the asking price, because the asking price is almost close, to about seven hundred or something. So I paid five ninety for that. So yeah, buddy. So let me show you guys the blueprints before I show you guys the toys, the action figures. So here we have the Cobra Maggot blueprint. And then here we got the Mumba. Mumba Blood Clyde. Mumba Clyde. Raz Clyde. It's funny because back in the day I, I, I didn't like the blueprints. I never kept them. I used to throw them away. Like everybody else with the boxes. Then here you got the Tomahawk. So I'm missing the actual camera gun frame. And I'm missing the winch housing to complete that. So I'll look all that crap up. And then here we got the Dreadnought Thunder Machine blueprint. And they're all in great condition and complete. Then we got Sergeant Slaughter's Triple T Tank. Also known as the Tag Team Terminator. That's what the Triple T stands for. That's a lot to say. Then last but not least, we got Sergeant Slaughter's other vehicle. The Warthog blueprint. So we got all those blueprints. And you know, these, blue, these blueprints, you could probably get like 10 to maybe... 30 bucks, depending, depending on the vehicle. I thought I had the Sky Striker and the Tomahawk one, but I actually don't. If you have it in the shop, um, I'll probably go there early, I mean, um, early or mid this week, 
one of these days. Um, it depends on how tomorrow turns out. So outside of that, let me show you guys this crap. I do have some extra missiles for the Cobra Mamba because those missiles on that um, that Sky Storm or whatever the hell you call it. I need this for for Nemesis. Is it? Yeah, for Nemesis Enforcer. So he threw that in uh, the wing because whoever brought the brought the brought the figure didn't take that. So let me show you guys these uh, these first. Just to get them out the way, I might go show you that before I show you the figures. So here you do have Thrasher. So that is actually complete now. Him with the blueprint. The file card, the figure, the vehicle, and the blueprint. So that probably makes it another twenty dollars right there. Then here we got a uh, fighter pilot fighter fighter pilot ace. I don't have the figure, but I have the file card and the actual plane. So that's good. Then we got low light. I think low light I paid. 15 for him because he came with the file card. Psych out, I think the same. Cobra Commander because it's the armored Cobra Commander, he wanted 25, so he did give it. He gave he not only he only knocked five dollars off for me, but because it has the card. File cards mean a lot when it comes to these things. You guys know that. Techno Viper, I think he gave me. I think the Techno Viper he gave it to me for 10. Lifeline, my boy David just picked this up last week when he paid the $400 for everything and this is the original one it's not the catalog one because he's got the white pouch over his right thigh I always remember that so uh, I think he was 15 he gave, me, he gave me that for 15 so 15 and 10 is 25 25 and psych out I think was also psych out was 15 so let me see 15 15 30 30 and 50 Cobra Commander was 20, it wasn't 15, it was 20, so 15 and 20 is 70, low light was 15, so 70 and 15, that's 85 dollars right there, mainframe was also 15, so 85 and 15 would be 100, cross country, he, he actually just threw that in, because you know he had another cross country and a Havoc, two other Havoc, oh no, another Havoc, so he did let me have that, to go with my, uh, Havoc and uh, Cross Country. Uh, is this MRSA, right? MRSA. Nope. That's for Pathfinder. So MRSA. Do I have MRSA? Let me look and see. Because that, that may be a card. Then you got Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider, I believe, is the... Yeah, um, the Phantom X-19 pilot. I believe, I believe this card... He said this card... The guy told Dave that this card... It's probably worth about thirty dollars, so I, I, I say maybe ten, fifteen at the most. Be, due to the fact that this is a hard vehicle and a hard figure to come by, I, he might be right, but I do have the figure for it. And then last but not least, we got Windmill, which is actually the X-wing chopper pilot. Yeah, the Sky Storm. So got those as well. Oh yeah, speaking of that, hold on. So mainframe making it a hundred or something like that, right? Well, Windmill came with the what's it called? So, yeah, yeah, whatever. Rock Viper, he would not do better than twenty five on that. He was like, yo, twenty five dollars because it's the full card, and he didn't have the backpack, but he does have the gun. And I was like, you know, so he's like, all right, all right, I'll do twenty. Pathfinder had, was virtually complete. Unfortunately, he's got these issues on the back of his card, but he wouldn't do better than uh, he did uh twenty on that. Repeater, right? No, Rampart. Rampart was, uh, he did, uh, 15 on Rampart for me. And I paid that because they have the, they have the file cards, but, but it's the whole back. And look what this person sold it for. Wow, child, ch children's place in, in child world was out that long? And they had them at, at $2.79. Son of a bitch. Damn, I wish I could go back in time. Damn. Son of a motherfucker. All right, so I'm not gonna really go back into prices no more because I'm, I'm I'm all over the place and I'm getting confused. I know some of y'all probably like, yeah, and so am I. So it is always good to get the stuff with the cap with the file cards because sometimes you wind up paying a lot cheaper that way in the long run than trying to find the file cards later or blueprints. So sometimes people people give that stuff. All right, so let's go into 
the bag. So you got Rock Viper weapon here. And this guy I paid, I know I paid, I know I'm not saying it again, but he, he wouldn't do no, he, he had, I had to pay $30 for this. I don't even know why it was that freaking high, because I think he's going to come with fins or something, and he's not even complete. Another, I, I've been slipping all day. Ever since I got into that argument and I was about to fight this dude in the market, my mind's been all on, I, I'm just so disappointed in myself for not fighting this guy today. It's just crazy. But anyway, Hy Hydro Viper. I know some of you guys know what I mean by that. Like, when you really be ready to whoop somebody's behind and they just don't get it, and it's like you get disgusted with yourself because you just wanted to whoop their ass. I think this is Destro's lieutenant or something like that. I forgot his, I think his name. I forgot his name, so I'm not going to butcher it. Uh, I think he come with a couple of weapons. I know he come with a gold gun and maybe something else. Um, but I think he is part of Destro's thing. But, yeah, got him. I think he was, uh, he charged me 10 for that. 10 or, 10 or 15. Well, we already know about mainframe. Hopefully, I don't have them. Probably do. And this is the lifeline. Fifteen bucks on him. Um, he only he doesn't have his backpack or nothing else. But you know, that's the one with the pouch on it on his uh, arm, on his leg. So that is the original one. For those out there who don't know, and yeah, I do have Mercer. So I did have his backpack. I think Mercer he gave it to me for ten because he didn't know who this guy was. And it did have a backpack. And here is Repeater's um, guns. You know what? Let me take care of something real quick. Not Repeater. I think Rampart. Maybe it is Repeater. Because I think I got him in here. Just give me a second, y'all. I'm, I'm all over the damn place. I mean, considering that I missed out on a lot of stuff today because I didn't have nobody with me at the market. And I am kind of glad because I was going to have Isaiah go with me. And even though when I came back, he still didn't complete his packet from school. I am still happy that he wasn't there because of this guy. I mean, I definitely would have swung on him. And it's sad because him, you know, his, his son, him and his wife's son, this cute little kid could have been no more than nine years old. I mean, don't get me wrong. I wasn't thinking about the kid because they wasn't. But now the more I think about it, I'm like, yo, this kid is right here and you acting a fool. He took a couple of my figures and tossed it on the floor. I wanted to kill this fucking guy. So, yeah, this guy was 15, whoever the hell it was, because this is the gun for him. He's got both of his guns, so that's good. And this is um, Psych Out. Psych Out was... He got the little antenna on the back of his head, and I think he got both of his little coin things that go on his wrist. I just think it's in the... Yeah, here it is. Oh, well, he's got his uh, his thing here, too. So he's missing his backpack, and I think one of those... It might be in here. But he was, uh, he was actually, I think, 15 or 20. I remember, because he came with the file card. I just said that. Then you got Rock Viper. The only thing Rock Viper came with was, uh, and he was 25. He did come with um, his gun, but no backpack or nothing else. I got all these things, so I'm not worried about that. He, he, he was not budging on that. I ain't Grenadier. I don't remember this being his weapon, but I could be wrong. Um, but he does have his sword. I, the sword I just put over here. I think he was uh, 15. He was actually $30. But he not he gave it to me for twenty. I forgot who this guy is for, but I need him. He's I think he's a, he's a, he's definitely a vehicle driver. And again, we got Cobra Commander. Cobra Commander doesn't come with nothing. He only came with two items. He came with his gun and that weird looking backpack. And everything's in good condition. And I already told you guys what I paid for him. This goes to somebody I don't remember who it goes to, but I just grab it because. I know when I look at my book, I'm like, oh yeah, it goes to this guy. And the and he, yeah, Rampart, 15 bucks. So Rampart does, I think Rampart is complete. Because there's a little missile that goes over here somewhere. Or is he? I mean, I think he come with that. He's the one that probably come with that, that little shoulder thing I just had. I got to look him up. Because this little missile goes on his leg. And then he got both of his guns that go on his side. No, this is not him. This is not the one. He got. He comes with something else. Where's that dude? There's a dude that, that got that that hip shit. It's not Pathfinder, but whatever. I don't know. I don't even know if he got paid for him. Has some missiles for the Sky Striker. Um, I forgot who. I forgot what drive. I think he. Uh, I forgot what driver he's for too. But he gave me that for ten. They have a price on a lot of this stuff. 
Uh, he, Pathfinder. That's him. He comes with the little things on the side that you put those guns for his, uh, what you call it. So he's missing his backpack and stuff. So Pathfinder was 15. Is this also his or is this Ramparts? This gotta be Pathfinders. Or whatever, whoever the hell it goes to, who cares? I'll look at it. When I look in the book, I'll, 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 I'll know. So I paid about 800 for all this stuff. So, But, you know, my plan, again, was to take a lot of the toys to the market today. My plan was basically to just go to the market to have money for extra G.I. Joe stuff. That was my plan, and it, it worked out perfect. I think this is a, I don't know who this goes to, but I'll figure it out. I think it is Ramparts. It looks like it probably broke, like everything else. Like I said, this guy, I mean, this stuff could have broke in the store. You probably, you know, you never know. Here's that whatever Viper guy, again, purple ugly motherfucker. And then last but not least, Low Light. No nothing for him. Low Light comes with a sniper rifle, I think a Uzi, and a big-ass backpack. You know... Um, and this is the bag they gave me. Uh, he gave me this bag to put the stuff in. So, um, I don't use little sissy bags like this. So, this garbage. Oh, and it went right in, too. Yes, it went right in. Things are heating up. Is that everything? You know how sometimes you get so much good stuff, you have to question yourself and say, damn, is that everything? You know, like, like, like is that not enough? But, yeah. So, okay. So, yeah, that's everything, y'all. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Gotta go. Peace out. I.